Well, here we are once again, 2014. Just so happy we're all to be able to get back and uh, here at Prince Stan High School for our 55th reunion. Seems like just yesterday, I, I remember walking across that football field and they hand me the diploma and I walked away and flipped it up in the air and never missed a step and caught it in my hand. I remember just like yesterday. I'm glad y'all made this. Uh, so many of our classmates now are not able to for one reason or the other. Uh, it would be a lot better if everybody could have come, but that's just not the case. I want to thank you all for all the patience you've had with me and making these videos and put them online and I know I didn't always get them right and this thing here is I don't know it's about an hour long I don't know 40 45 minutes something like that uh, I went through about 60 hours of video filming from here and there mostly on the cruises probably over a thousand photos obviously I couldn't put everything on here so I just did a a little bit of cutting and snipping and got the sights, shots that, that seem to be the most interesting. I hope that you find them interesting anyway. Be a lot of a lot of video from the cruises, different little snapshots and things from the cruises because that's where I have most of the video since we haven't been around together very much. And uh, Patsy was kind enough to send me all the newsletters she sent out and I got a lot of pictures off of that. I went to our Shutterfly album that's online, if you remember, and there's just hundreds and hundreds of pictures there. I'm also going to put it on YouTube so uh, you can all go back home and watch it anytime you want or show it to friends or send it to friends or whatever. Well, Marshall moved on me now. Give me a minute to get all situated here. And I'd like to encourage a lot of you that seem to be a little reluctant to get on Facebook. We have a, a lot of our classmates on Facebook and I started a group a couple of years ago called I Grew Up in Tidewater and it's all about reminiscing about old times, a lot of old photographs and places we used to go in school and it's just, it's just a great, great place to visit if you want to go back with some really good memories. Uh, we've got uh, about 3,500 members now, and uh, they're not all from Virginia Beach. The majority of them are Virginia Beach and Princess Anne High School, but there's, there's uh, kids from uh, all the other schools in the Tidewater area, from Franklin and Suffolk and Hampton and Newport News and Great Bridge. It's just a great place to visit. It's totally safe. The, the, the filters they have there, you, you don't have to give up any information you don't want to. But you can just go and watch. You don't have to say a thing. You can just go and observe and see all the videos and all the pictures. So I encourage you to join it. It's uh, I Grew Up in Tidewater on Facebook. With that said, I'm sorry I can't make this reunion. Uh, Kathy and I have a few health issues that have that really limit our travels anymore. We're still able to do the cruises because the, uh, the ships are, are set up so much in their handicapped cabins where it's just, as, it's just as convenient for us on the ship as it is at home with all the custom -based, customized features we've done to our home. But uh, staying in hotels and traveling on the highway for long periods of time, it's really tough. I, I go to Charlotte, we go to Charlotte twice a year, see the grandkids, and that's a 10 hour drive. I can drive that straight through, but it's a grind. Driving 16 hours to Virginia Beach is no way in the world I can make it. So anyway, that's why I'm not there. The only reason I'm not there with you guys tonight. I'd really like to have seen you all again. Uh, I know now that there's, there's a bunch of you here that uh, here tonight that I'll never see again. Uh, and that's pretty sad, but now I love you all. And I've had a good time putting all this stuff together because it, it makes me more familiar with everybody and what you look like now, what you look like then, probably compared to what you guys have because you haven't delved into the pictures and videos like I have and uh, I just want you to know that uh, I am I am missing not being there
since our last reunion, we've probably gotten the notices. We've lost, uh, I think, 14 more classmates in five years. That's almost three a year, and it's been accelerating every year since our last reunion. So we need to we need to think about getting together as much as we can. You folks that live in Tidewater close together, you ought to really think about, like Wiley put together the uh, Oak Hodgers group. It's a bunch of old guys. <laughs> We're young kids back then all together in high school. And they meet every Thursday, I think, at the Pembroke Panera Bread. Every Thursday morning, every third Thursday morning in, of the month, each and every month. And they just sit around and talk about old times. They try to stay away from everybody's aches and pains and health issues. It's hard to do, <laughs> especially for a lot of us, I'm sure. But uh, just every time you get an opportunity, you'll see in these videos just how much uh, Kathy and I have, have gotten together with so many classmates that are coming through Florida. Uh, there's a bunch of you that have homes here within an hour of us, of Josie and Dan and uh, Jackie Tucker and Hal and Mary Ann and Wiley and Ann and the, the Ginger, Ginger Davis is over in Seminole. There's just a bunch of us and we get together whenever we can. When Hal and them come south, we always arrange a meeting as they're heading south for the, for the winter to meet somewhere at a restaurant during the middle of the day for lunch and I invite everybody to come over. And the same thing when they head north, we all get together again. And sometimes during this, during the uh, during the winter, we'll we'll meet, drive halfway between here and Fort Myers or Naples, where they are, and have a have a lunch or a dinner or something. You guys need to do it. Believe me, you really you really get a lot out of it. it makes you feel good. I'm gonna cut this off now, and I want to thank Marshall for uh, videotaping this. He's been my right hand man. He's my go to guy for a lot of pictures and things, and. He, uh, he does a good job with it. Don't forget, come join Patsy and I. She's an admin of our, our group. I grew up in Tybor. She helps keep everybody straight. No politics, no religion. It's just all fun and games from when we were young. Thank you very much. I love y'all. Sorry I can't be there. But we'll meet again. Bye. Princes and high school most beloved one of all, thy sons and daughters listen to thy call, and each shall cherish a fond memory, and each shall pledge his faith everlastingly. O oh, hail to thee, O oh, Alma Mater. And praises be, O Alma Mater. To us you'll be, O Alma Mater. High school of our heart. Need to take a moment to uh, remember and honor Marshall and David Costin Bader and Chuck Mathis for decorating our gym's rooftop with the class of 59. Started a tradition that lasted for years and years and years. Way to go, guys. Well, this was a party Hal had at his house. Uh, 
Aaron Hampton uh, a couple of years ago. There's Wally. And Judy White. And Sandra. Marshall and Jackie. The Morgans and Virginia Land Arden. It's time for dinner. They had three tables set up for dinner. That's table number two. And next you will see table number three. Gary, we miss you, big guy. Here you have Wiley Lamb. He sampled some of the 185 pounds of Boston butts that he prepared North Carolina style with vinegar for the first annual barbecue cook-off for the Atlantic Wildfire Heritage Museum. The winner was determined by paying guests at a cost of $25 each. Congratulations to Wiley for winning the cook-off. He says he couldn't have done it without help from Ann. Hey, dude. Let's go have a party, man. I feel like they're going to break out and I've been hurt at any moment. Here we see Hal responding to a dare from two of his grandkids. Hal says this is an old dog doing an old trick. We add that it's a lucky old dog because he didn't break anything. And a reminder, don't try this at home. We were so happy that Shirley and Larry could join us for this cruise. Shirley had been battling cancer for quite a while, and uh, sadly enough, right after this cruise, she passed away. And uh, we invited Larry and his daughter to come with us the following year, and they did and had a wonderful time. Shirley was a great lady, and I'm glad we got to see her that one more time. Well, back in uh, March of 2013, Codgers presented a framed print of one of Marshall's photographs. He's turned into quite a photographer. You folks on Facebook uh, have seen many of Marshall's photographs. He posts them on Facebook, and I know quite a few of our classmates are on Facebook. And uh, 
he has some interesting photographs that he does. This is a, a close-up of the frame for photograph that uh, they presented and then followed by a close-up of the plaque that goes with the photograph that's now hanging in the Prince Sand High School office. This is a great thing Raleigh Lamb created or started or instigated back a couple of years ago where a bunch of the old Prince Sand High School guys get together at Panera Bread, I believe, every third Thursday of each month. Now, this was back in, uh, uh, when was this? My goodness, I think it was back in 212 on December the 30th, I believe it was. This is Kathy and myself and Hal and Mary Ann and Wally and Ann. And we were at Lee's Crab Trap in Ellington, Florida. Great, great little restaurant. View of the lake with all the gators swimming around out there. Oddly enough, the place is closed now. I don't know whether it had anything to do with our visit there or not. Now, this is Betty Ups, and I, I believe Betty's probably in the witness protection program. She no longer goes by Betty. Her name now is Mary O'Brien. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the uh, witness protection program. Now here you see Virginia, or Ginger as we call her, uh, getting ready to ride the zip line on the Oasis of the Seas on this year's cruise back in February. You can't tell from this video, but she's, it's not a very long ride, but it's way up in the air. She's about a, oh, it's about a hundred feet down to the deck below from where she's uh, going across there. Uh, she says she's going to ride, ride that half a mile long one in, uh, Cyber Day Haiti when we get there in uh, February of uh, 2015. Oh, okay. I saw her up there. She's ready. <laughs>
here comes the first two out of our group. That's Alice Barnes right there. And let's see who's next. Jackie Tucker. Oh, play right there. Okay, here they come. Three. If it's them. Should be them. I bet his battery is on. is about down to the east. Here they come. Here comes another one. There's a fourth one. It should be. This is kind of like his battery's got to be low. Don't stay low. That's Hal there, right? There goes Hal. You maniacs, I've been body signing opponents all over the ring for the last 30 years. But now the time has come for me to return home, where I've opened up Tampa Bay's newest hotspot. Welcome to Hogan's Beach. Video. Hey, Brian, just watch what you grab over there. <laughs> Watch your hand there, friend. <laughs> Now you know these ships, they have these rock walls on them. They're about 50 feet tall. Last year, Susan Dunning, she said she was going to give it a shot. She made it about halfway up. And this year, old man David Harris, he says he's going to give it a go. And here he goes. He's getting ready. Uh, nothing to it. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. He's already going twice a night. I can go. Come on, David. You can do it. You can do it. David All right, man. We're heading on up there.
2014 and Prince Sand High School's class of 1959 is headed back to the Eastern Caribbean on the oasis of the sea. There's no difference. Can you imagine the first guy that ate one of these things? That's how it was. Yeah, that's what. Okay, well, that's the difference. That's what uh, uh, Jonathan Swift, brave man, ate the first oyster. He was a brave man. And he lived. Very there you go. It's a little bit. Give me a bumpy ride. Yeah. And he doesn't slow down. Well, I know it. I'm going to pass it. It might take a while to find that. And we do recommend it. Hi. Hi. Where are you in uh, Sarasota? Philippi. Philippi. Philippi Creek. Philippi Creek. Philippi Creek. Is Philippi here today? Sign says Could do I not talk to him about the oyster? Uh, <laughs> do not feed the well, alligator. Not all work, I'll tell you that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You did well. We have a sign out there that says do not feed the alligators or the birds. Are there real alligators out there? I mean, are there alligators out there? Now this was on our 2012 cruise, I think, to Jamaica on the Liberty of the Seas. We were all in the schooner bar, uh, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock in the evening. And the entertainer there invited Marshall up to join him at the, uh, at the piano, and Marshall entertained us with a, <laughs> a song. So
I can't think of a more giving animal than a horse. Think of all the things we do with them. I mean, from roping cattle, to doing tricks, to jumping, to swimming in the ocean if you ask them to. What is it that they haven't done for us? I don't know. Um, after the war, and that was in, what, 40-something, my father came home and we always said he was going to get us a pony. And so that's what they did. They bought us a pony. And then from there, we got another horse and we traded that horse off and a bushel of corn and a billy goat for another horse. And there it is. <laughs> that's the beginning. <laughs>
George and Betty somewhere in the Caribbean. I think back when we were in high school, some of our classmates were actually driving the school buses. Uh, they trusted them with our lives, and we all made it through. George Doss was one of those drivers. He did a wonderful job. I think he kept it, oh, in between the white line in the middle and the outside the road all the time. His, uh, his school bus was a big old yellow bus, just like the rest of them. But uh, since then, he's, he's graduated from an old yellow school bus into a, a Corvette. He's got a nice Corvette. And this picture here, this was some sort of parade that he was in. I believe it was in Washington, D.C. You know, George is an attorney up there. And uh, he gets to hobnob with all the officials. And look at that license plate, L-A-W-72. I imagine that must be a 72 vet. Anyway, George has gone from a school bus to a, a beautiful little Corvette. This is Mary Ann and Freddie and Susan in the Mayan ruins. Here we see a scarlet macaw trying to teach Freddie Spanish. Uh-oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is, huh? Here's Mickey and Joyce Dickerson in Egypt. That's what day it is. My good buddy Butch, I sure do miss our phone calls. On uh, three of the ships we've been on on our cruises, they've had these flow riders. You can lay down like on a surfboard, or you can stand up and surf on them. I would have thought Marshall would have surely ridden at least one time, but we never got him on there. Something fishy going on here. Marshall says if Bush 41 can do it, I can sure do it. Well, here we are at Water's Edge Restaurant in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. What a beautiful little town that is. We have Patsy and Tom, and Vernon and Becky. Freddie, that camera's as big as you are. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, no, I think I've got a few pictures. That camera takes some really good pictures. Did 
this is the entrance to uh, what was Marshall's favorite hangout when he was stationed at uh, Key West and spent a lot of time there apparently and even left one of his old license plates hanging on the wall there. Told us where it was and where the license plate was hanging. And Patsy went there and her and Tom, they found the license plate and she took a picture of it. And it had to be, I don't know, years and years ago. There she is. She's looking for the old man of the sea. Directly below the one of the cameras for their webcam, they they broadcast a stream of video on the internet continuously. If anybody wants to go there and watch. And while we were sitting there, Jackie Tucker comes walking back in along with four or five others, and they said that she, she said that her grandson had just called her on the cell phone and asked her where she was, and she said, we just left the hog's breath, and her grandson told her, well, I'm looking at JT on the on the webcam right now. So they came back, and we all got in front of the webcam, and she continued talking to him, we all waved to him, and what have you, it was very interesting. L hey, hi guys. Hey, hey. Hi. Little Danny just called us and said, Now, at this point in the movie, I'd like to say that I am not a fan of censorship. But in order to protect the guilty, not the innocent, the guilty, and you folks know who you are that were there, I have uh, cut a lot of this, this video out from Carlos and Charlie's. It's on the cutting room floor because I'm trying to protect the guilty. Uh, they will never be shown to anyone. But maybe for the right money, I could be persuaded. Well, this was pretty exciting. It's hot in there, no air conditioning, place is wide open. And uh, every once in a while, he'd walk around with this big CO2 cylinder and start spraying it all over everybody. And it was a bit cold, but it sure did feel good. <laughs> Judy and Freddie. Billy Burns and Linda. And Wiley and Ann. Earlier this year, Lola called me, or I think she sent me an email saying that uh, her son was treating her to a trip to Tampa to and a ticket to see the uh, New York Yankees spring training baseball game. I think they were playing the Rays, I believe they were. But anyway, their spring training field is, is in Tampa. And of course, Kathy's a big Yankee fan, and so is Lola. They had a good time talking. 
But uh, after I got off with Lola, uh, on the, got on the phone with, uh, oh, I don't know, I called Wally and Ann and Hal and Mary Ann and Ginger Davis and Josie O'Hop. They all live reasonably close to Tampa and uh, set up at a, a time for them to come and told them where the hotel was. And everybody uh, showed up and we just had a, a really good lunch and talked about old times and Josie showed a, lin a little interest in going on our cruise next year in February and said she'd try to get Lynn to go with her. I hope that how it works out. And Lola and Ginger talked about sharing a stateroom. And uh, since this, that happened, uh, Lola and Ginger are sharing, sharing a stateroom on the cruise. We have such a great time during the winter months when all the snowbirds, our old classmates, are spending the winters down here in Florida. Dan and Jackie couldn't make it this year because Dan had a couple little health problems, but he's okay now. These little get-togethers throughout the year are just so much fun. And I would encourage any of you, if you have classmates living close to where you are, to get together every once in a while and have dinner or whatever. I know there's a group of them there in Virginia Beach that meet for lunches and dinners quite frequently. And of course, the Codgers meeting there at, uh, I think, the third Thursday of every month in Pembroke. Uh, you guys would be more than welcome to come join them for a couple hours in the mornings. And uh, it's, just, it's just really nice to spend some time with some old friends. We're going to have to have a twist on that. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Grab right to the right step. Grab right to the left step. Walk, step. Toe, heel, step. Toe, heel, step. Toe, heel, step. Toe, heel, step. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Grab right to the right. Grab right to the left.
Josh, you're looking fine tonight. Yes, sir. And there's the Thank caregiver. You. You've got to be in here for contracts between these two. No, I, I, you're totally out of this picture. I pay, I pay her to come to me. We find that George is quite the outdoorsman and loves to ride his bicycle. Should have had that camera in here last night. Last night? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> was, uh, was, uh, they would have needed. I remember one night at the time Here's Gloria and her sister Beverly in Sydney, Australia. Here's Gloria with a park ranger holding a wombat. I wonder if there's any little wombats running around Gloria's home. Well, we've come to the end of our movie, and uh, I just want to uh, let you guys all know that if you come through Florida and want to come and stay a spell with us and sit and talk for a while or spend the night with us, We've, we've got a bed that the dogs ain't slept in yet, and you're more than welcome to come see us. Bye, y'all.